Hi, my name is Jack Buchanan. I'm a junior at Lincoln High School. You know! And this poem is called Time Spent on the Mountainside. We went to middle school together. And out of all the kids in our class, you could count the black ones on eight fingers. You were with me in every diff class. You came in with insight and intention. Geniuses in the back, we made that our connection. A kid with a broad nose like mine, with brown skin like mine. Back then, we shared crooked teeth and in the back of the classroom too much time. But when we got to high school, I didn't see as much. I didn't expect as much. New classes, more kids, we couldn't connect as much. You had my back, and I only needed as much. This year, in math class, we faced frustration. And for the first time in a long time, we spoke like we used to. And you asked me, wow, you really don't want to be a statistic, do you? I, I sat there, and it stuck with me because it meant that you did. Or at least you felt there was no other route. Just doubt and indignation. I kept thinking of our similar circumstances, about how you and I were running out of chances, about you and I. This year, I've seen you make bad choices. They will orbit your life like hula hoops. I want to call them your hooligan hoops. You're spinning them two round your ankles, three round your waist, shackled in place tight like vices. These are our vices. I want to call them procrastination. I want to call them greed. I want to call them complacency. And I want to ask them why a lack of patience plagues us. And don't say it's because our nation hates us. I hear that excuse like it's a homily. Honestly, obviously there's problems on both sides that need solving. So start with the one that you can control. Think back to when it was just you and me. When things were simple, we tried to make them harder. But now that they're harder, hmm. Think how much work we put in, how much stress and sweat and hurt we put in, how much worse it could have been. I think of my indecisiveness, and I think of the effort that you misuse. I think of forever and unpaid dues, how the debts we owe are to the people who came before us. Like them we aspire to climb and reach over Reverend Martin's mountaintop. I want us to go. But as I think of our climb together, of our tether, me to you, how it holds heaven in the binding, that if one of us were to climb higher than the other, he might fall and be hung by his hopes. I don't have an obligation to you, but I don't want to cut our rope. 